Hi, today we're going to go through lesson 10 from Computer Science Discoveries Unit 3. Um, in lesson 10, we're going to be um, actually creating our own scene. Um, you're going to be working through a uh, through it's a bunch of steps to create a mini project. Um, what I would like you to do is take a look at task two. And when you take a look at task two, they give you an idea of what a scene might look like. So here's a scene of two aliens in space and um, these two aliens, these I guess are the planets and they're saying, what kind of music do planets sing? And the other guy says, Neptunes. Did you laugh? I hope you laugh. That was funny. Neptunes, like tunes, music. Okay, well, whatever. So um, what I would like you to do before you move on is sketch out a scene um, on a piece of paper. So get out a piece of paper, pencil, sketch out a scene that you would like to create. Please pause my video and go get your supplies and sketch out your scene now. All right, now that you have your scene sketched out, um, and before you move on any further, let's take a look at the um, requirements for this week's uh, lesson. So right now we are doing the mini project, um, and I'm asking you to sketch out a scene um, on a piece of paper um, and letting you know that you're going to be uh, creating your scene digitally. In your scene, you will need to have a scene that makes sense. So it's got to make some sort of sense. It's, it's got to be a scene of something that makes sense. Um, having a hamburger and a sky and a basketball, that's not a scene that makes sense to me unless you have somehow made that make sense with what you are with the rest of your stuff and what you are writing. So your scene should make sense. Uh, you need to have a background. So I will show you, um, I'll show you a background. Uh, you will also need to have four, um, I'm sorry, two shapes. Um, so two different shapes. Uh, you're gonna be using squares or circles, um, making rectangles or ovals, whatever it is that you might need and think about what's going to be uh, working in your scene that you can use shapes. I wanna know that you know how to use the shapes. And two sprites. So you're gonna need to choose two pictures um, that are um, in the animations. I will walk through that with you. And you're gonna need to put at least one word or phrase. So. This is, these are the requirements and the entire project is going to be worth 20 points. Okay, so what I've done so far, and let me just uh, get rid of this so I can start it from the beginning. Um, what we have to do here is, and this is walking us through step by step. It says, uh, create your scene, background. So first, make the background of your scene, um, either with shape, commands, or sprites. So I'm going to show you a couple of backgrounds. First of all, I can do this for a background, um, and I'm going to make this sky blue. So right now I have a background that's sky blue. That's one way of handling it. Another thing that I could do um, for my background is I could look um, I could look in the animation library, and there are backgrounds that are preset. So if you wanted to make a back, if you wanted to use one of these backgrounds, you certainly could. Um, so take a look at what is available for you. Um, maybe instead of using sky blue, maybe I'll use this one, gradient two, um, because that's pretty much a sky blue, um, but it has a little bit of character to it and I like it. Um, I personally think that I want the darker on the top, so look at what I'm about to do. Um, I'm going to, and 
don't want to flip it horizontally. I want to flip it vertically. Oops. Why isn't my vertical flip over here? Or my horizontal flip? See, that's going to just flip it back and forth. Well, we can do this. And I just spun it around so that it could... Um, Kind of come to the top. I, for some reason, right now cannot find the um, the way to flip it so that it's um, th this one is to flip it vertically. So you're going to take the left. Um, you're going to flip flop the left and the right. I wanted to flip flop the up and down, but as a workaround for that, I used this counterclockwise rotation. Um, oh. If I pressed Alt, that's what would have gotten that. I'm sorry. Press Alt, and now you'll see that the light, is, the lighter part is on the top. Now I'm going to press Alt, and then I have the lighter part on the bottom. I apologize for that. So I have the darker on the top, the lighter on the bottom, and that's what I'm going to be using for my background. All right, so um, right now we have the background of sky blue here. We no longer want this sky blue background because we created the other background as a sprite. So now we have to go into sprites. We're going to need to set our variable and then set the animation. I am going to call this background. Um, I also have to call this background. Um, and I need to change my animation so that it's the appropriate animation, which is gradient. Um, underscore zero two underscore one. This this verbiage right here is what I got from this animation tab. I had to insert the animation and then use it. Um, just to show you really quick, it's upset because I have used the word background and the background is already used in drawing. So that's why I have this yellow caution. Um, so I could call it back if I wanted to, and everybody would be happy. Um, I decided to call it background, but let's just call it back. Now, when I press run, I see that nothing happens. Nothing happens here because I did not, sorry, I did not put draw sprites. So I do need to draw sprites. And now I see that I have my background. So you can choose um, you can choose to make a picture for a background, um, like I showed you here, or you can choose to um, use just a solid background color that you find in drawing. All right. Uh, now in number four, I'm creating my scene and I'm putting in sprites. So if I go back to my weekly learning plan and I take a look at um, what the requirements are, um, I know that I need a background. I already got it. I need two shapes and I need two sprites. So in order for me to make my two shapes and my two sprites, I'm going to have to put them here. <coughs> Sorry. Um, so I'm going to, um, let me actually start it this way. Um, I'm going to start with what I'm going to be drawing. Um, I don't know if you noticed, but this kind of looks like the sky. So what I've decided to do is draw some grass. So I want my grass. I need a rectangle that is, I'm going to say, at about uh, zero. Let's say like zero to 75. I don't want it too tall. Um, so that's going to be um, about 125 uh, pixels tall. So that'll be there. Um, if I just reset run that right now, I see that it is gray and it only goes over partially. I need it to go over 400 pixels. And the height, I, if I had the height as maybe 50, then it wouldn't be tall enough. So I need the height to be at least 125. The reason I need it to be 125 
is because um, if we take a look, I know that this is at 275. The whole thing is 400. So this line is at 275, um, 400 minus 275 is 125. So I need it to be at least 125 pixels tall. If it was only 120 pixels tall, you would see there's like a little, little piece that you can see on the very bottom. Um, so I do need it to be 125. Um, pixels tall. It could be longer than 125 pixels. You just wouldn't see them. All right, so we've got a problem. What's our problem? That's right. The color is not green. I need it to be green. Which color green am I going to use? Well, let's use light green. Best for fun. Ooh, that's a little too light green. Um, so I'm just going to use, let's do dark green. Let's dark green. Let's see if there's a jade green. That's been my color this week. Nope, doesn't exist. So I'm just going to use green. And remember, if I want to get um, fancy with the colors, um, I can certainly get fancy. If I go to this fill color and see example, uh, they're going to bring me here so I can look at all the different colors that are available. And I could have chosen any of these colors that I wanted. So feel free to get creative. All right. <clears throat> um, so right now I've got one shape. I'm going to put another shape in. This time I'm going to put an ellipse in. I want my ellipse to be about here. And I want it to look so it looks like a cloud. So my ellipse, um, I'm going to make, I want it about here. So let's say it's about like 360. Uh-oh, it's green, and it's a big, big, big circle. So I know that I only want it to be, let's say, 100 pixels tall. Ooh, that actually kind of looks good. The 400 might be a little obnoxious, so let's maybe reduce it to 300. I kind of like it because it looks like it's coming in from out there. So I'm going to leave that. Um, and I'm gonna actually go over here, and I'm gonna try to find. Um, I'm gonna try to find a color that I can use for a cloud, um, like azure. A z u r e. Let's use that. I kind of like it. So I want it to be like a whitish, but a whitish blue. Ooh, fancy. Okay. So I hope you like it so far. Now, if you look, you're going to see that I have a black line around my cloud. I want that black line gone. So I'm going to press uh, no stroke. By using no stroke, that takes out the black line that is around the cloud. Um, I see that there's also one on uh, top of the grass. So I think I'm going to put this no stroke on the very top so that it applies to everything. Because I don't think that I want the black outline lines to be there. I don't really like them for this picture. Okay, perfect. So I have two uh, shapes, and you choose whatever two shapes that are going to make the most sense for yours. And now I'm going to need to come up with two animations. Um, so I think I would like a kid. Oh, look at all these kids. There's no full body kids. Ah, there's some full body kids. I like this guy. And I think I want a dog. Um, oh, there's some real cuties here. 
Hmm. I think I'm going to give him this. I think I'm going to give him this corgi. That corgi is cute. Okay. So this corgi is not going to be facing the correct direction for my picture. So I'm going to use this flip. And now I've got this corgi flipped properly. Um, so now I'm going to go back to my code. And I want to um, add both of these um, sprites. So I have a kid and a dog. And my kid is going to be set to kid. My dog is going to be set to corgi. Okay, so if I look at this, I see right off the bat that the kid and the dog are going to be on top of each other. Oh boy, and they're both enormous. So we need to scale them. Uh, so I'm going to scale the kid. And let's see what uh, 0 0.5 does for the kid. And let's also scale the corgi. And let's see what 0 0.5 does for the corgi. Okay. Uh, they're still a little bit large. So I think I'm going to put it at 0 0.25. Now they're a little small. So let me do... 0 0.4. All right. Ah, that's much better. Probably a little too big, but whatever. We're going to go with it. All right. Clearly, they're in the wrong position. So I need the kid to be over this way a little bit. Um, and I want the kid to be looking like he's walking on the grass. So I'm going to have his X position at about 75. And I want his Y position to be about 250. Uh-oh. I'll show you what we did wrong. What we should do maybe differently, I should say. So I've got, um, I've got the kid. He looks like he's at about the right position. But right now we have, um, right now we have the, grass and everything above him. So we're going to have to relook at the order in which we have this stuff. And the dog we're going to put in the same position, the same 250. Um, but I want the dog to look like he's a little bit further in front. So let's say maybe 225. Okay, and we're going to make the dog a little bit smaller than the kid. Ah, uh, that looks much better. Okay, so um, at closer look, um, it seems as if I'm not really able to layer these properly, at least using what we have here. There are some workarounds, so if you're looking um, to layer these differently, uh, feel free to talk to me about it. What I am going to do, though, is I'm going to pull down my green grass so I'm going to want my green grass to be more like maybe at 325, so 0, 325. Maybe three. Sorry. Nope, I should have gone the other way. Sorry about that. But right. this is, um, I mean, if you remember, we've been talking about problem solving since uh, the very beginning. And this is a part of the problem solving process that we uh, that we need to uh, kind of take a look at. Um, all right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to just scooch the kid up a little. Um, so right now the kid is at 250. So I'm going to put the kid at 245. Maybe I'll put him at 240. Just to see, I just want, I want to see his feet on the grass. There we go. And now the dog needs to move down just a little bit. So I'm going to put the dog at 255. There we go. Okay, so now I have a kid and the dog. And um, that's what's going on here. Um, I am going to draw a, um, 
I do want to draw a uh, a leash um, because I want the kid to be walking the dog. So I'm going to add a line. And this line, do you see how it says X1, Y1, X2, Y2? So, um, so this X1, I want the leash to be like in the kid's hand. So I'm going to put my uh, mouse over the kid's hand, and it looks like the kid's hand is at 106 to 64. Um, and I'm looking at underneath where it says X106, Y264. So 106, Y264, 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 106, and I want it at the dog's. Um, where the where the dog's leash would be, and that's at 206, 252. 206, 252. All right, and now I'm not able to see it because it's a line that is still picking up this color, so I'm going to... Um, I want to um, identify the stroke color, and I'm going to do brown. And now it looks like there's a leash between the kid and the dog. Um, I think that I, I might actually want um, that stroke to be a, a little bit... Um, a little bit fatter. Um, so let's see if we can make it a little bit fatter. If I do that, I don't believe that a text size is going to do that. How am I going to make that fatter? I thought I would be able to change that. Um, so there's, I'm sure that there's a way to make this a little bit fatter if we go into. Um, this line, if I go to see examples, I'm sure they're going to give us some ideas. But for right now, I'm just going to leave that to where it is. So at this point, I have two shapes. I have two sprites, and I have um, I put a line in there just for fun. So now I'm going to go on to task five. Task five is uh, letting me um, put some text in. And what I want to do is I'm going to put some text right um, across the center, and my text is going to say, it's a great day for a walk. So this is my text, and my text is going to say, it's a great day for a walk. And I want my text to be right about here. So like 150, 150 looks like a great spot. I would like my text size to be uh, maybe 20. Let's see what 20 looks like. And I would like, um, let's do that first. Okay, so right now it says it's a great day for a walk. Um, and if we look, the stroke, the last stroke that was given was brown. Um, so now if I, now I need to change the stroke, the stroke is around, um, the outside. So there, are, the stroke is now blue. So you'll see that it's now blue. And I think I want it to be filled. Um, that preset is yellow. So that's what that looks like. Um, I could preset it to blue. I mean, I could uh, change it to blue. I change it to blue. That's what it's going to look like. Um, so I, so by putting the inside and the outside as blue, it's um, kind of doing nothing. Um, if I wanted to put the outside black and the inside blue, um, it's making um, it's making like an outline around it. It's kind of hard to see at this font size. Let's see what happens if I made it a little bit bigger. Um, still, it's kind of hard to see, but if you look really close, you'll see that there is um, black around the outside. Um, 
obviously by making it bigger, I would have to then move it over quite a bit. Um, let's see if I leave it this at this size and I put it at 50, 150. Nope, still too big. So I'm gonna change it to 30 so that we have the text showing. And I'm gonna move this over so that it's at 25. All right, there we go. So um, this is my picture. I'm hoping that you came up with something a little bit uh, more creative than, than what I have. Um, and feel free to, like when you go, when you go into any of these things, it, it allows you to see examples. And when you go into this see examples, you're able to look at examples from all of these things. So um, if you are interested in, you know, going through and kind of taking a look at all of the things that you can do, uh, feel free to do that. So that was task five. Now in task six, they're just asking you to review your scene, compare the scene that you drew to the plan that you sketched, um, make any last minute changes and think about what it, what is it that you're proud of? I mean, I think that this is um, pretty cool that you were able to make this, um, this scene. So nice job. I can't wait to see all of your creative scenes.